On Mother's Day last year, I was feeling a little bit down because I was thinking to myself, if I hadn't miscarried twice, I would have been a mother right now. So we tried, uh, we tried mm-hmm. getting pregnant and then uh, we miscarried twice. So for the first one, the heartbeat stopped at about eight to nine weeks. Yeah. We reach out to pastors and to friends and they encourage us to not give up. So so they were saying, okay, you know, we will pray that the heartbeat will come back. I mean, there's nothing else we can do at that moment but to pray against the news, which is the baby has no heartbeat. And then we just trust God along the way. So the first is I focus on prayer, hoping the baby will have his heartbeat back in. And when this does not happen, we focus on the miscarry to be as smooth as possible. After the first miscarriage, uh, we met Reverend Geoff Wickland at CBCC. And uh, we just went out to the pulpit to get like a prayer and a word. He actually prophesied and he said that we will conceive again. Yeah, and it is in God's plan that, you know, we will eventually be parents. And then the second uh, pregnancy, it was a chemical pregnancy. Yeah, so I was tested positive uh, like in one day and then the next day, uh, my period came. So I was thinking to myself, uh, what is it that God wants me to learn or to go through? Yeah, that He allowed this, you know, all these episodes to happen. Um, but along the way, we have learned to trust in His Word, uh, and and the and the word that was the words that were given to us by uh, prophets and pastors that you know we will eventually be parents. So that that's what uh, led us to to keep trying, I guess. Fast forward to the third pregnancy, it was quite unexpected. Yeah, so it was on Mother's Day. So it was supposed to be my EDD for the first pregnancy. So on that day, you know, I just uh, wished all the mothers happy Mother's Day, just be happy for them. And um, uh, Ivor was suggesting that, oh, you know, we should still celebrate. Yeah, so to cheer her up, right, on that day, I suggested that we, we should reward ourselves, enjoy the day and have pizza. Yeah. And we actually had beer to go along with the pizza. And it was after a anime movie. It was late at night. I decided that, okay, uh, I think I should just take a pregnancy test. It was just a hunch. What happened is she saying that she don't understand why her menses have not come yet. And I jokingly say, I think you are pregnant. Then she's like, no, la, I don't think so. Yo. Then I say, why don't you go and try? Then she she think then she got a hunch out like oh maybe maybe it's really true. And then when she tried, she couldn't believe her eyes that is it's true and we began to regret the beer that we just drank <laughs> immediately. Yeah. Yeah. So that's how it goes that night. I think at every stage of this journey, right? What that, what is the one word that uh, lead us from one stage to another is trust. Trust in God. That God is good, regardless what happened. And it is through the through this heartbreaking journey, right? That we grow a bit stronger. Of it. I can see that God is faithful even in the little things. Yeah. So just now I shared that, you know, when the first miscarriage happened, my first thought was why did he allow this to 
to happen. Um, to be honest, I still don't know. Yeah, but when I look at Sherry Ann right now, she is such a good baby. And I'm just very thankful that, you know, she is my baby now because if those miscarriages didn't happen, I wouldn't have her with me. All things work together for the good. 